Here we'd like to estimate a firm's cost of equity, which is also known as the required rate of return for equity investors, uh, which might be seen as the term RE in a weighted average cost of capital formula. And so in this particular problem, uh, let's start with what we, what we know. We have estimates for the firm's cash flow, so it's uh, expected dividend series, so the next dividend, uh, as well as uh, future growth of dividends. And we also have pricing data, so we have the stock price of $35.94. We don't know anything about the risk of this firm's stock, but we do know the cash flows, and we have a market-determined price. And so what we can do to estimate the cost of equity is use a valuation formula and uh, insert the market price and then solve for the discount rate. And that's gonna become our estimate of the cost of equity. All right, so in this particular problem then, since we've got constant growth in dividends, we know that the valuation formula P equals D1 divided by R minus G should hold, this is the Gordon dividend growth model. And so um, this R here, that's gonna be our RE. And so let's start then by solving this formula for R. So R, and I'll call it, go ahead and call it RE. RE, algebraically, we can show in this formula is equal to D over P plus G. Now we've got all of these numbers in our problem above. So we know that D1 is $2.11. The current price is $35.94, and this constant growth rate is 4%. Plug all those numbers in, and we have 0.0987. And there is our answer. There's our estimate for the cost of equity.